What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of mine. In this video, I wanna get into the latest trailer that was dropped for Halloween. Now, my history with the Halloween franchise is as follows. I watched the 2018 movie the other day on Netflix, um, really enjoyed it. It was the first time I ever watched a Halloween movie all the way through, and yeah, I had a great time, really enjoyed it. So I thought, okay, I've seen the new one, let me go back to the beginning and watch them all. And what did Jacob do? I watched every single one of them, except for Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I thought I might give that one a skip. I've heard the Halloween community really doesn't uh, care about that one at all. Um, there's no Michael Myers in it. It was meant to be a sort of standalone spin-off thing to go into a new direction um, that ultimately went nowhere. So, you know, I have no regrets of uh, not watching that. I've seen a few clips uh, with the pumpkin and all that, and I'm, I'm, nah, I'm not really interested. Um, but as far as the Halloween, the Michael Myers Halloween, um, I'll say this. One and two, I enjoyed watching. One, because it's the base foundation, it's the original idea, it's the original concept, and it worked brilliantly. It worked brilliantly. Halloween 2... Uh, the brother-sister thing, even for me as a newcomer, I know that's a very touchy subject within the Halloween community, but remember guys, I'm just new. For me, it was something I never really cared about. I didn't really care that they were related. It wasn't necessary. It wasn't essential. Um, you know, you could have just had it as Michael was interested in Laurie because she was the one that got away. You don't have to have this whole subplot about this person being related to that person. You know, it's something that I've actually grown to really dislike as of late with Hollywood. You know, it's it's just, oh, this person needs to be connected to that person to be connected to that person. Uh, no, it, you know, nah. And this was in the 1980s. Um, but I really enjoyed the first two. Then we get to Halloween 4. And, it you know, I, I'm a big believer in show, not tell. So what do they do? They kill Laurie off screen. You know, is there like a bigger disservice to the lead character than just saying, oh, yeah, they're gone now, they're dead. You know, I didn't like that at all. Um, so already Halloween 4, not off to a great start. Um, and then they started to really take a sort of supernatural kind of turn from then on. It started to feel like I wasn't watching the original Michael Myers concept. It started to feel like I was watching more of... How do I describe it? When you get to Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers... It's like that. You're watching this cult sort of, you know, witchcraft, supernatural kind of thing. And for me, I didn't really like that because to me, the character of Michael Myers, what I like about him, especially as a newcomer, is I like the enigma, the mystery of him. You don't know anything about him. You don't know where uh, you don't know how he can do what he can do. You just know he just does. You know, you know how he started by killing his sister with the knife and wearing the costume. Um, but that's it. That's it. That's all you get on him. And that he's he's just, you know, as Buster Rhymes would put it, he's, you know, he's not OK up in there. Um, and resurrection. Oh, my God. I mean, you know, Buster Rhymes and, and then, you know, fly kicking him out of a window, um, which was arguably. And I, I'm, I might get a bit of flack for saying this, but Halloween Resurrection is so bad that it's it's good in in a in a good bad way. Like I can watch that film and just have a right laugh. You know, Buster Rhymes just smacking Michael Myers on the head and then kicking him through a window. Why? <laughs> it's kind of funny. But um, you know, H two O was uh, just another no and. The Rob Zombie remakes, eh, they tried to give the character a soul, but, you know, it just feels like they were milking the cow dry with each passing movie. And I'm sure with the 2018 film, a lot of you longtime Halloween fans were probably excited at the fact that it was a direct sequel to the original film. And if you're a fan of Halloween 2, that would, might piss you off because you like that film and maybe you like the connection of brother and sister or whatever, or you just like Halloween 2. It's a really good film. Um, but you know, I'm sure majority of people see the 2018 film as, as you know, it's legit, you know, you don't have to go and watch the other films at all. Um, but you, if you want to, you can go and watch them just for Loomis. You know, he's probably the saving grace in it. You know, Donald Pleasant's great actor. He was in a lot of movies around that time as well. You know, he was in the Witch Mountain movies, I think. Um, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, I, I was really sort of 
from all the trailers of the 2018 film, I was excited to see this kind of confrontation between the Scream Queen and the killer, you know, going head to head. And it's just a shame that the 2018 film didn't pay that off more. I was really hoping to see it threaded throughout the film a little bit more, but we only saw it towards the latter half of it. Um, and then when Michael arrives at the house and then, you know, oh, it's not this, it's a trap. Um, and you're going to see all over YouTube, you're going to see these videos like 50 details you missed in the Halloween Kills teaser. And it's just like, ah, yeah, okay, the street lamp was a reference to the other Halloween film that doesn't exist. That's probably what it's going to be. Um, but anyway, as far as Halloween Kills and where we're going, um, we all know the blood and the gore. It's going to be double for the second one. It always is. The sequel to any film, there's always double the amount of what the first one was. Just double it down. Um, and from what we got, Michael's mask is burnt, so I think you can assume that Michael was burned in the fire. We can assume that Michael got out, or either either he got out or he died in the fire and then was rebirthed in some way. Um, but personally, I don't want to know. Part of the enigma of a character especially like Michael Myers, is I don't want to know everything about him. The mystery of the character is what was so great in the original, is that you don't know how he does the things he does. He just does. And I know people will put that to lazy writing or whatever, but it's not lazy writing because it's written into the character. If it wasn't written into the character and Michael just appeared here, there and everywhere, then you could say, all right, that's lazy writing. They're just shoehorning him in here and there for the sake of uh, plot. Just shoehorning him in for the sake of plot. Um, but they writ it into the original idea of the character. That's why it's not lazy writing. He, you don't know how he does it. He just does. You know, he's the boogeyman. He, he just, he's one minute he's here, next minute he's there. You don't need to know how he does what he does. Um, I think that really works in Michael's favour when you just know nothing about him. Um, but given the way pop culture and fandom is nowadays with everything and we need, you know, the, the desire to know information, I guarantee you Halloween 2 or Halloween Kills is going to start out with Michael escaping the house or something like that and you're going to see him crawling out, he's going to be burned to pieces, his mask is going to get blown off by the wind and then he's going to walk over and pick it up. But I, I'm interested to see what they do with it. Um, there is a shot in the trailer of him clearly killing someone. Um, and there's a lot of suspenseful shots where characters are just looking in shock and in awe and in ho horror at what's taking place. But I honestly don't know what they're going to do going forward. Um, the one thing I will say is you have three generations of Strodes now. And a part of me thinks that Jamie Lee Curtis came back, but she said, look, if I'm coming back this time, if you're going to kill me, my character off, can you do it the right way? I feel like the end of Halloween 2018, where the camera pans to the youngest one holding the, uh, the knife, that isn't saying, oh, she's going to become Michael Myers or whatever. No, it's not saying that. It's the passing of the torch. I think they're setting up these the next two strodes to carry on the legacy after her i think it's very possible that jamie lee curtis's character laurie strode by the end of these three halloween films is going to be gone she's dead uh, i i have firm belief that she's going to be out by probably if not if not this one the next one um and that could be something that gives halloween kills some bottom is that this one might actually be the one she bites it i mean i know her character's been dead before but you know, arguably the 2018 film is a much more in line and true version and true sequel to the original movie than any of the other sequels actually were. So I do feel like her character is first on the chopping block. Um, but if you're going to end the Halloween franchise, I mean, let's be honest, we know they're not going to do that. Um, it's like with the It films. I just want to say on a quick side note, Pennywise is dead, but... He has two of the highest grossing horror movies of all time. Hollywood is not going to let that money go to waste. So you can bet there'll be It Chapter 3 the beginning. So even if they kill Michael Myers off again, then in some way, shape or form, he's going to come back for a future sequel down the line. But if we're taking it at face value, um, the third Halloween, so after you know Halloween kills, I think it's Halloween ends, I would bet that Michael and Laurie Strode go out together. I think there's that 
that's something that I think pe really peed a lot of people off about this film, is there was a great opportunity to kill both of them off together, and they didn't take it. Um, and it would be just, it would be poetic. It, everything would be full circle to where it started in 1978. Everything would come to a, 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 a full circle. And I'm, I'm sure it's 1978 that Halloween was first released. Um, but I really feel that's a direction they will go. Um, I doubt you'll see any characters from any of the other sequels reappear. I mean, could you just imagine Buster Rhymes just appearing out of nowhere going, Wah! and then kicking him again? <laughs> Um, but yeah, guys and girls, comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite Halloween movie. Are you excited for this film coming up? And which Halloween film do you hate? Which character is your favorite? What moment do you like? What moment do you not like? And what are your thoughts on the 2018 film? Do you think it was a solid return and a great foundation? Or do you think they should have just left it well enough alone? Um, at just the original Halloween and ignore all the sequels kind of thing. But comment down below and let me know. And as always, I really appreciate the uh, support lately on all the videos. It means a lot to me, all your kind words. Um, with everything that's going on in the world right now, community is such a big uh, thing for me, you know, to engage with you all uh, in discussion and conversation about these fandom things that we love and all that. Anyway, guys and girls, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, as always, if you'd like, to see more let me know and i might do a full review on the halloween movie as a separate video i'd really want to delve into that so i might watch it one more time to sort of give you my full thoughts see you later guys